It goes without saying, today has not been my best day. It goes without saying, the last week has not been my best week. Uh, we had a shortfall that we found last Friday from our forecasting caseload that took us down 300 million, and with reasons that we can all understand. People need health care, people need services, they need the social service net. Today we found our revenue forecasts down 760 million. It's a billion dollars in one week. Um, now, I gotta explain if I can a little bit about the budget so that you can explain it to the 63% of Washington State who doesn't understand the dire consequences of a budget like what we have. 70% of our state budget is untouchable. It's basic education protected by the Constitution. It's Medicaid protected by federal law. So only 30%, only 30% is available for us to find any cuts. That 30% is $9 billion. We have a $2.6 billion shortfall. That puts it in perspective. Over two years, we have lost $12 billion out of a $31 billion budget. We are in the worst times that we have seen in 80 years. So as I said to my staff today when the forecast came in, 80 years, and I picked now to be governor of the state of Washington. But you know what? I got to tell you, if it was ever a time to have a Democratic governor, a Democratic House, and a Democratic Senate, now is the time in the worst recession in the history of the state of Washington because we're there, we have values, and we're not going to let it get us down. By law, on December 8th, I will produce for you a budget. That budget has to live within revenue. It will be nothing like you have ever seen in your life. Last Saturday, we spent the day trying to find budget cuts. Let me give you a flavor for the day. At one point, we were looking at podiatry services and asking ourselves, should we cut that funding? I asked what the consequence would be. And the answer was, more people will have amputations. I asked, what would be the consequences of cutting those developmentally disabled who are aging out of foster care? The answer was, they'll go homeless. Those are the kind of consequences to our budget. It's one thing to talk about. You can shut down all of higher education, all of four years, our research institutions, our community and technical colleges, and still not make up the whole. You can shut down all of corrections and still not make up the whole. But you know what? It's not about numbers. It's about real human beings. Behind those numbers, my friends, are kids who want a education so they can get out and get a good job or go to college. Behind those numbers are kids who want the doors to higher education open to them for training in their field or for a PhD. Behind those numbers are families who are looking for a safety net because they have lost everything. They may have lost their job and their health care, they're looking for food on the table and a roof over their heads. Behind those numbers are our senior citizens who need access to a nursing home. So I tell you, an all-cuts budget is not the value of the people of the state of Washington. We must step up to our responsibility to this state and look for revenue to get the job done. There are three editorials, Vancouver, Walla Walla, and Yakima today. Give them a shout out, they're wrong. We cannot live, that's not the values of the people of the state of Washington. We need to stand up, we need to be proud. Let me just share with you, I have read more about the Great Depression in the last year than I have in my entire life. And I know one thing, Turning our back on the most needy is not the people of the state of Washington. Turning our back on education and health care does not represent the people of the state of Washington. Turning our back on economic opportunities for tomorrow does not represent the people of the state of Washington. So I'm asking you to join with us. Go out there and fight and educate. Make it clear. We'll take cuts. We have to. We know that. Every family is doing it. 
But we cannot allow our most fragile to go without. We cannot shut the doors to higher education. We cannot turn our backs on our Sorry. kids' uh, ability to get an education in our K-12. through We cannot turn people away from health care. It is time for Washington State to stand up, to stand behind its values, get back to work, look out for our friends, our neighbors, look out for that stranger down the street or someone we don't know. I'm asking you from the 36 and the wannabes of the 36, stand behind us this next legislative session. Let's get the job done. Let's work together. Let's show America what real leadership is about right here in Washington State. Thank you.